Hey there, LT Zeta here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Duel Masters Cobalt. In the last episode, we started these finals and we beat the four evil guys again. And this episode, we're gonna fight with Rebecca for the last dude. We're gonna beat Jalen and then probably get cutscenes and then fight Widow or something like that, would be my expectation. Alright, we're in the home stretch. What do I want to get rid of first? Probably Red Eye Scorpion. It is the most expensive thing on my list. Alright, he's probably getting rid of King of Nautilus. Also pretty reasonable. Alright, Aqua Shooter. You can go away. Alright, I don't think you have any turn- Yeah, many of us have turn two plays. Oh, lot. lots of Spiral Gates, eh? Uh, don't think I need that many. <laughs> I don't think I need that many. That's one of the kind of issues with having so many spiral gates. Like, they're mostly useful for shield triggers. Or, like, late game stuff. Getting a bunch of them in the early game has the unfortunate effect of, like, oh, I can't really do anything with this, huh? I do want candy drop, though. Because while I don't have any Liquid People or uh, Crystal Lancer, I definitely want the ability to, like, you know, hit things. First shot. I'm mean, That would murder my one hope at this point. <laughs> Just candy drop. So, definitely don't want to use Burst Shot, and that's for sure. That's for sure spot. I don't know. Changing things around. To do stuff with and whatnot. Okay, another blocker. Guess what? I I can do that too. All right, enjoy your cards. I guess you don't have the mana to really use them, utilize them. You got a candy drop of his own, which is a little worrisome. Yeah, sure, fine. Honestly. That, that's totally fine by me. I'll just do that. Because right now, all I need is Candy Drop. If you're not going to get rid of Candy Drop, depending on what your shields are, I will, I will win. <laughs> okay, well... He's only got two things that can attack, and I've got more than that. Oh, hey, look, it's Crystal Lancer. I don't have a liquid person, though. That's too bad. Candy drop. Candy drop. The only thing that I need to win. I mean, you could teleportation. Oh, hey, Aqua Sniper. But he doesn't really need to. I am the superior water being, Jalen. Get it through your skull. Okay, well now you have a candy drop of your own. Rabbit rabbit! And you can get a hyper squid Walter, I guess. Alright, he's gonna get through one attack, which is unfortunate. We couldn't preserve all our shields, oh no. Yeah, it's a shame. But whatever. The smart thing for him to do would have been to hit Candy Drop, but... The AI can't think like that. Yeah, there's no real point. All I need is candy drop. It's the only thing that's attacked. Alright, get more cards, sure. Candy drop, take us home. Let's go fight Widow now. God, Jalen, you're pathetic. Can't even handle a single little 
octopus squid thing. See, like, against a human player, that strategy would not work. But against the AI that doesn't even like to, like, consider, like, doing things with creatures unless it's specifically a creature that can only attack creatures, it's like... Yeah, there's not really, like... <laughs> it definitely feels like AI manipulation at that point. But it works, and it made this by go by faster, so I'll take it. Alright, that went well. I have unlocked Knight! You fools! How could you fail me? Then the final round is to you and I, Knight. A final climactic war of the Titans. I don't think so. You refuse? Victory and the power of the creatures are mine! I didn't say that. I will not duel you. I don't need to, but one of my students will. What? Very well then, a token battle to resolve it. Let us duel. Okay, well here's the interesting thing. Who do I choose? Who do I feel is my strongest deck? Honestly, I feel the most comfortable trying with water. I really like my water strategies. They're what I'm used to the most. I feel like I could probably do it with anybody, but if there's going to be anything that's most fitting for me, I feel like I got to go with water. Plus, there's the familial ties and everything, so it kind of works from a story perspective as well. A nice little conclusion for Rebecca's arc, I guess. <laughs> All right. Starting with a Crystal Lancer. Okay. Alright. So you're Darkness. Are you Darkness anything else? Or you're just Darkness? Okay, you're just Darkness, it looks like. Well, you're starting with a Marrow Ooze, which is a little annoying, but you're probably just going to use that to hit my shield and it'll die anyway. You get rid of a Phantom Fish and... For ball refresh, yep. We got a death smoke, which isn't great. All right, well, this will give me an extra card, so I can deal with that. So this is like the final battle. I feel like we should watch some of these animations just to make it a little bit more climactic. Kind of, kind of like you know how like in Pokemon where it's like when you're fighting Gary, Gary or Blue or whatever, and it's like if you have the animations turned off, then it suddenly turns them on. For in that moment. Uh, I don't think I want that based on what I'm going to be going for. Okay, now your Bone Ghoul is relatively useless. Okay, you got the Beth Flow, which is Belbet Flow, which isn't great because of the Slayer properties. I can get out and off a Jolter, which will help for Crystal Lancer. I'm going to get rid of Magma Either I think at this point I don't need it. And I'll get out Revolver Fish, because my Phantom Fish is pretty much going to die soon anyway. Yep. And that's what- that that's the interesting thing about Slayer, is like, you know, Slayer has to... Slayer loses these things, you know? Okay, you're getting rid of Terra Pit, that's good. Are you getting another Bell Blast Flow out? No, you're getting Scratch Claw out, which is also a Slayer. And see, that's kind of the issue sometimes. To get Fire Sweeper, which would be strong. I think that's what I'm going to go for, because next turn I can get Crystal Lancer out, and even if Crystal Lancer does wind up eventually dying from a Slayer, at the very least, getting two shields will be helpful still. Alright, getting a bit of that foe now. If I can... Mm, uh, no, I need Crystal Lancer, otherwise everything I just did is pointless. 
Alright, Crystal Lancer, go attack the player. You're probably not gonna live forever due to the Slayers. I can't rely on you, and that's... Again, part of the fun of fighting Darkness sometimes is like... All these times where I've been over-reliant on, on one individual creature. You can't do that with Darkness. You just can't. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna let that through. If you're just gonna attack the player, you can't attack the creature. Then that's fine. Well, bye-bye, Revolver Fish. Well, hmm. I guess the AI might come in handy slightly here now. Draw a card. Uh, yes. Oh, hey, another Crystal Lancer. Okay. So I got a lot of creatures now, at least, and that's pretty good. I know I didn't attack any of hers. Oh, hey, Aqua Jolter. Look at all my liquid people! The army is born! <laughs> okay, I have no shields, so that ain't great. But you can't evolve anything. Okay, who are you killing? Bye. All right, well. Let's see what happens with Crystal Lancer first. All right. Take that, Widow. And bring us home, my boy. Aqua Soldier. My absolute favorite. We're going home. Stretchy arms and all. Take that, Ant Vib. Alright. That was a little tense. There was there there was definitely a possibility of loss there. I did have a blocker though. So like I wasn't completely in, in the out. But yeah, that was that was a fun little final fight. Am I gonna have to fight her again? Is it gonna be best two out of three? That is awesome! Well done! Only the best. Yes! Yes! Yay! Rebecca wins! Not so fast! I'm not going to let you get away with this that easily. Okay. It was only a matter of luck that enabled you sniveling fools to claim victory in the tournament. No. It is over. See for yourself. The balance has been restored. Go home, Vivian. No. I'll not leave until we put you pathetic whelps in your place. Once and for all, with one. Final duel. All of us against all of... Y'all just count me out, you hear? Yeah, if there was a score to settle, it was settled at the tournament. Knight's right. It's, it's over. over. For now, at least. Wait! Why, you little... How dare you defy me after all I've done for you! I... I made you powerful! <laughs> I gave you cards! Walking away. <laughs> also, I feel like... One and, of them is missing. And I have more! Yes! Very rares. Super rares! You can still defeat them. Yes! One day! One day you'll see! Can we just push her off the pillar tower thing? Good game. Yeah, good game. I'm okay with saying that to Marcus. He was probably the best one, all things considered. The balance is restored. Everyone? Take your positions. Fire! Me 
nature. Light, light. Dark, dark. By your powers combined, I am the Avatar. Guess it's time to duel! Oh my god, <laughs> those animations. The only one you could make out is Luke, and like he was like practically hop skipping. Well, we unlocked Widow. And these are the credits, I guess, so. Thanks to all these people. Somebody in programming, I have a words for you for whatever happened with like, um, <laughs> the game breaking on me. I wonder which one of these people are is the person on DeviantArt. Who knows? Looking for any other names I know. But yeah, this was very fun. I really greatly enjoyed this. It was very neat to go through. I'm very happy with how with how this came out. Mostly because like. I really value Let's Plays that I just genuinely have a good time playing. So maybe it wasn't the best from a watchability standpoint. I hope it was. I still don't really know. Audience perception remains to be seen when I'm recording this in April 27th. Obviously it's not going out yet, so I don't know. But like... Hmm... I, I just, I had a good time, and I really, I really like Duel Masters as a game. I like playing it with my friends a lot, when I can. And it, just, it was just really nice to, like, give the game, like, just this vibe. Like, give it a presentation that, like, it doesn't normally get. Just, like, giving it a feeling of legitimacy, almost. Like, not that it's an illegitimate game, but, like, you don't normally see it on on a Let's Play channel with the same kind of vibe that I would give, like, a Kirby Let's Play or a Mario Let's Play or Pokemon. Like, Duel Masters, to me, was basically equivalent to that. And, like, I just appreciate that a lot. Like, the ability of me to do that, to do such a thing. It's kind of like when I Let's Played Gauntlet Dark Legacy back in the day. Or when I do certain, certain really silly in indie games like Tori or A or the Crow Maidens. Like, people don't really hear about those games very often, but I give them... I do my best to give them a, an equal footing an equal playing field of just like letting people do whatever they want to and watch whatever they want to on the on the same level i don't know but yeah special thanks to mel and matt for introducing me to this and being the ones to encourage my duel master's brain rot there it is you thought i was lying huh weren't you bill corkery ryan drummond and cory bringers and there's lonnie manella too doesn't say who they play but we all know most of them So, it was true the entire time. You know, it really is kind of like <laughs> Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Lonnie Manella was in it. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I need more rage. My soda, Mountain Dew. <laughs> My kitty, Shale. Kitten Caboodle, aka <laughs> Psycho. The Nuh uh tribe. This is fascinating credits to read through. Um, but yeah, thanks to Mel and Matt for introducing me to this. Matt especially, he's kind of like, he he's the one I mentioned all the time through this game. He's the one who's going, who's been doing so much for just us more or less to like just make his own like modifications and adjustments for a, a really fun experience and I heard something about him like considering making a Neo Cities website where he can post some of his adjustments more publicly so maybe by the time this comes out I can link to that in the YouTube description if it's ready and if it isn't I can go back in the future and edit the YouTube description when it is ready if it even happens at all I don't know plans change I'm just reiterating what I mean. Maybe he doesn't even want me to bring it up, and oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> but either way, 
thanks everybody for watching this Let's Play. For sticking through it, through all, like, I don't know, 30 episodes. I'm not counting. But who is? Future LT, that's who. But yeah, I had a great time with this. I really enjoyed it. Now you can see everybody who we unlocked in arcade mode. We have everybody except these guys. Uh, I remember who these are. I, I did look it up. One of these is Chuck, the shopkeeper. And you unlock him by getting every card. Uh, that is not something I'm going to be doing. Um, and then these two. One of them is Source, the gremlin shadow dude. You... You just get him for beating, like, arcade mode 50 times or something like that. And the other guy is some guy from, like, the Duel Masters anime at this- around this point, who's just here for- as to the bonus thing, and he's a hundred wins in the arcade mode. So, yeah. Uh... What does statistics show me? Cause I don't remember this being a menu option. Global statistics? Apparently nothing's happened. Maybe this is arcade mode only. Oh, yeah. I'm in arcade mode, that's why. Okay. Uh, what's the special features again? Creature viewer. Oh, it's just a neat little model viewer. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. We gotta see the highlight creatures of the, of, of the game. Here's Braidclaw in all his glory. Uh, Kiratops, you're always so loud. Let's, let's, let's look, gaze upon you one last time. Vroom vroom. How do you handle, like, the backpack? It is kind of just like this giant cube. Okay. I was curious about that. The guns are clipping through your headdress, Kiratops. Uh, Yijio, you're always pretty cool. Gremlin fella. Just like purple body. And, like spiky head. Uh, Dianork, you're always in obnoxious and in the way. So let's gaze upon you one last time. Frey was always pretty neat. I, ju I just like Frey's design, all things considered. Like, look at it. It's just so cool. That's what I really like. The creatures in this game are just so damn cool. We never saw a rebuild. Let's see rebuild. Ooh, it's like a electric night thing. Neat. I never saw Gore on the field. Monkey! Everything else we did see. Aqua Deformer. We never saw this. What the heck is like playing patty cake? What the hell is this thing? Whatever. All my... All my liquid people, all my ideals, Aqua Hulkus, Aqua Jolter, I love them all. I still don't understand the tentacles of Aqua Knight, and I never will. Perhaps it's not meant to be explained. Aqua Shooter. And his extraordinarily defined butt. Sniper. We saw him a couple times, but never really needed him. He does look very cool, though. And my boy, Aqua Soldier. He had gigantically long legs. <laughs> it's a neat look for him, it's just not really what I would expect him to have. else we didn't really get to see. Never saw a King Ambergris. Oh, we can we get to see even more animations if we want to. 
And we gotta see Revolver Fish. He's the Ribbit Ribbit Frog. So there, there were always four different animations for everybody, huh? Okay, well, you know what, there's there's one thing that has to happen before I sign off. You know what's coming. There's only one way we can possibly end this Let's Play. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next time for my next Let's Play. And until then, I've been LT Zeta, and I am signing out.